tonight we are over at Sloan Park here in Mesa, Arizona, and we're going to talk about how to do a workout that doesn't require any equipment anywhere that you are, being that you have nice weather, right? Um, or even if you have to bundle up. Basically, what I use when I go to the park is I use these uh, posts here, the poles, the lamp po poles, to do my jogging and my walking. So you might pick two lamp poles poles to do your jogging and walking um, and vary those and you might even want to do some sprints um, on the uh, actual surface here but I'm also going to have you focus just a little bit on the grass so it's it's awesome if you can find a bench near a grassy area because you can set up more of a circuit based workout that way otherwise what I would say is to do your warm-up for five to ten minutes beforehand uh, doing the walking and some jogging and then go into your body weight workouts. So if you have a bench and it's very sturdy like this one or it's cement, uh, you can start out doing a single leg step up or even a step up into a jump. Sorry, we've got the mic here, rocking the mic. And then switch legs, obviously get the same amount of reps in on each leg. You can see I'm not propelling forward I'm just coming straight up and using the glutes to do that and the hamstrings. From there you can progress into an upper body movement, an incline push up, or a dip. Be careful not to come down any lower than that 90 degree angle. And then you can go back in to your step ups. You can also do a side step up, which is more, sorry about that, more of a controlled movement where you control from the top down and then switch legs, okay? From there, I like to usually go into, because I'm fairly warm, a sprint combo. So I would sprint down the long of the field and do walking lunges on the way back. Let me demonstrate. Your heart rate should be in the cardio zone. If it's not, I would be surprised <laughs> about that. Um, but uh, you'll definitely be up higher than that fat burning zone. So it's a little bit of high intensity interval cardio at the end of your workout, which is where I prefer your cardio to be, not in the beginning. And that's that. <laughs> 